Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Dredge. That's right, we're back for another episode. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the end, if I had to imagine. Uh, I mean, I can't say for absolute certainty, but I feel like we must be pretty close at this point. Uh, yeah, this time, we gotta catch a catfish. That's where we left off at the last episode. We have to catch a catfish so we can finish baiting these traps. If you recall, we killed the monster that was over here. Yeah, here's all of his guts. Uh, they are still moving. They're, they're very, uh, <laughs> they're very luminescent, uh, if you can believe it or not. I know these aren't the catfish. We're gonna catch them anyway, because we're also getting a little bit broke. The money is not what it used to be. I'll tell you what. Even these fish don't even seem to be that expensive. Man. This one's harder. This mini game over here? A little bit harder than the other ones, I'd say. It like speeds up at the very end. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, I think I think some night fishing is probably gonna be in order for this one. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little Ooh, come on. There we go. A little a little fishing, uh, because we are very broke. Come on. It was no problem. It may. Oh! <laughs> I don't ask for much. I want to be good at fishing. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of uh, fish the day away for the most part. Uh, just because I want to make sure I do the cat fishing. Uh, oh, I have to buy dynamite too. That's right. I almost forgot. Because there was this part of the map that was, uh, I believe it was down here, if I recall. Uh, and there was like a little spot for me to explode. Uh, there is some debris that needs to be cleared, and we are just the people for the job. Uh, let's go to the fish market real fast here. Let's go ahead and sell all we got for 208 big ones, actually. Not so bad. Oh, we got rot. Something rotted in here. Shoot. My bad. Absolutely my bad. Okay, are you selling... Or would you sell that? My dynamite. Yes, you do sell the, the pack dynamite. Oh, you also sell the refined metal as well. How about that? I don't think we need any of that, though. Um, I do... Actually, let's check what we do need. I'm kind of curious now. Oh, Ooh, I always click with the wrong one every time. Uh, oh, all I need is the bolts of cloth, actually. So maybe we'll get lucky and find some uh, find some of those as well. Okay, we have ourselves the dynamite. We're just going to head over uh, to the south part of the island over here. I'm pretty sure that's where this is at. Okay, that's okay. I was like, maybe that'll be catfish, but it wasn't. It wasn't catfish at all, actually. It's worth checking. What are you? I, it has to be at night, right? Yeah. I mean, come on. There's no way it's not at night. Where are we now? Okay, this is where I thought it would be. So let's see if I was correct about that. Uh, one of these areas. Yeah, here it is. This is what we want to explode. Let's plant the charges. Okay. Light the fuse. Well, bam The debris crumbles away. Why wouldn't you? Get the heck out of here. Oh. What is this thing? Whoa! A Goliath tiger fish! <gasps> well, that has to be a quest item. Yes! Yes, it is. <laughs> How about that? Secrets everywhere. And another secret, too. Let's see what we get. Okay, it's getting dark. We got ourselves an emerald ring. I don't think I've gotten one of these yet. I've gotten a citrine ring before, uh, but not an emerald one. So there you go. It was definitely worth the uh, the price of admission there. The juice was really worth the squeeze, I gotta say. Which is an expression that I like, and I try to weave into conversations whenever I get the chance to. Oh, get away from me. Evil, get away from me. I want nothing to do with you. Now, there was like vines that came out of here before, too, which was kind of creepy. I have one of these. I got two of them, actually. I don't need those. I just need to find the cat. I could have sworn I found one before. Here, let's go over this way. Wasn't it? I'm surprised these fish aren't changing. No, you're not catfish either. What are you? Catfish. We did it. Yes. <laughs> I remember when I was uh, 
a young lad, me and my uh, my uncle would go out catfishing, and we would bring back a whole bunch of catfish, and we'd have a fish fry with some, hu with some uh, hush puppies. Oh man, that was so good. Those are good memories. I don't I don't really fish anymore, but I would. I would if I had some had some uh, catfish and hush puppies. God, I'll tell you. Good lord, that's some good stuff. What a combo! I never thought never thought they would go together. I honestly I don't even know what hush puppies are. I'm trying to think of what I was like. Maybe I should explain what those are, but I don't think I could. I don't even remember. It might have been like I like I want to say like potato, like potato or something, and like and like cornbread. <laughs> it was like something weird like that. Uh, but they, you fry them up, fry them up real good. You fry them up, fry them up with the fish, and they're freaking delicious. Okay, this is not where I need to be. I can tell you that much right now. Okay, there is the arrows that oh, that point us in the right direction, but I think I got misled. Oh no! Well, we gotta get our light back. Okay, easy. We did it with ease. And this guy's gonna follow us into here, right? Fortunately. No, I think we're good. No, he did follow us. Oh. Oh, Lord. He did follow us. We're trapped in here, is what's happened. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, we're not trapped. We're free. Did that thing. Wait. Did it get me? Why am I freaking out? Okay, I think it left me alone. Maybe. I'm not sure. Where am I? Get me out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been, I'm so turned around now. Yeah, let's get out of here. We're just going to... I guess we're just going to go all the way around the island. Because I cannot navigate inside of there for... Oh man, for anything. Here, that's okay. We had the boost. We had the boost and we can get ourselves back pretty easily, thankfully. Yeah, okay. We're going the right way. We're going the right way. And I think... I think we should be good to... Finish the rest of the bait now, right? Am I, am I right about that? I could be, I could be wrong. But, oh man, I gotta... I was about to say, I'd probably have to store this Goliath tiger fish, but the merchant wanted it, actually, so we just gotta tell, tell her about it. And hopefully she'll take it right out, right out of her inventory. I really don't want to haul this thing around if I can help it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big fish. And they said Goliath. They weren't kidding. Okay. Here we go. Let's dock up. Let's absolutely dock up right here. And we'll talk to the traveling merchant. About this rare fish. The Goliath tiger fish. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Oh, I absolutely will. Oh, two of them. I didn't realize this was, this was the case. That's fantastic. All right, great. Thanks. We're good. You did take it, right? Oh, no, I get to keep it. It's stale. Oh, I wish it wasn't stale. I mean, it sells for 180, 189 for being stale. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to hold on the rest of my catfish. I'm going to really try to not sell those. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to make sure because I, I just want to really make sure I didn't put any fish in storage here. I didn't. I think I might have may have saved the other fish, and that's what was rotten. Uh, oops. I forgot those were kind of on a timer. But thankfully, there's there seems to be like a million of them over here, so we can just catch them real quick, right? It was these guys. I think this is it. Oh, we got a special one. A rare. You love to get a rare. Absolutely love to get a rare. Fantastic. This should probably be plenty. Okay. Let's find our way over to the pilot. Right over here. Oh, Mr. Pilot. I've brought you fish. Fish seems to be like one of the most useful items in the world. <laughs> when it comes to this game, like everyone wants a fish. Okay, let's talk to the airman. How are things going? Talk about baiting those traps. Uh, okay, the bait for the second one. Yeah, I got him right here. Boom. That's it. That should do it. I'll just mix these in here. Load them in the trap. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, the bait for the last one. 
Oh, this one that's another thing that got destroyed. Shoot, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find that one again. Another eel. But we can go ahead and do the last one real quick. Or the second one. <laughs> we can finish that up. That'll be good. Woo! And it's always a little dicey when you try to go through there. Uh, we have to find out where the second area actually is. Oh, man. I'm going to be navigating all of this again. <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, maybe we just do it during the day. I kind of like that plan. Maybe I just don't try to do it at night because it seems to be really difficult for me. Um, what's that? Is that glowing over there? Have I seen this? Oh, they're just, they're mushrooms. I don't know why. I don't think I've ever noticed that they were glowing before. Shows how observant I am, I guess. <laughs> they probably they probably been glowing the whole time. Okay, we need to find ourselves some more eels. Are you eels? No, you're not eels. I don't think there was any over there. Ah, uh, shoot. You know what? We're just going to go back. We're going to go back and we're going to sleep. Because we can. That's a choice we can make. Hold on. I see some things over in the water over here. Just in case these are eels, definitely want to check it out. They're not eels. Oh, there's the catfish we need. Wow, it was right next to it. Oh, here we go. Nice. Here, we'll, we'll drop a catfish. There you go. I'm going to trade it for one of these. For something that I need. Man, we can have both the baits going at once. It's going be perfect. Do it all in one go. For you. Okay, more eels. All right, back up. Let's trade him for some more bait. Okay, the bait. The last one. Bada boom. That should do it. Okay, loads in the trap. Absolutely will do. That's all for now. Okay, I just have to find out where these go now. Gotta find out where they go. Oh, I didn't even go to sleep. Shoot, hold on. <laughs> just like I said I was gonna do. Something was out there. I heard something. I swear I heard something. <laughs> okay, let's go to sleep real quick. Nothing to it. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm really, really not positive uh, <laughs> where, where they are, but I'm sure if I just keep going around and around, I'll probably run into them eventually, right? I think that, I think that checks out. That makes sense to me. Here's one. Let's bait this trap. Load the trap. Right, here we are. Nice. Now do them. Do them good. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Here, let's take it. I wonder if this has a freshness to it. Just curious. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't have a freshness. What if that just rotted out of your inventory? How upsetting would that be? Okay, we got it. Another one down. There's like an, a, another point of interest in here, but oh, that's just the camp, I think, actually. All right. I want to make sure I do this carefully. I kind of have to go like up into the left. Oh. Whoop. Right? I'm doing it? I think I'm doing it. And then it'll kind of be like... Sorry, I'm not trying to like spam the map right now. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, we can turn to the right and I think we can get in, get in from that side. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't have to buy any more explosives to get into here, because that'd be really upsetting, actually. I already used the one. Okay, no. We're good. We're absolutely good. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, you love it. That's a lot of progress, actually, just to get this part done. Oh, that's fantastic. 
All right. Do them. Do them up. Nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, you mind sucker. You mind sucker. There we go. We did it. Oh, we have another thing we can read. Shoot, I didn't even notice that. I wonder if that would cost, uh, or that counted as an aberration. No. No, it didn't. I actually haven't looked at this book, like, at all this series, but that's okay. It's just a list of things that we've caught. <laughs> and I'm not really a completionist like that, so I'm not going to worry about it. Man, could you imagine how long the series would be if I, if I just, like, did a, com like, a completion log? It would take forever. It would absolutely take forever. I don't think anyone would watch that. You can do it in your game. <laughs> it, probably, it seems like it'd be a fun time. I just don't have the time for that. I wish I did. All right, let's see what he has to say about this. Now we've uh, destroyed all the mind suckers. All right, bud. How are things going? Uh, I have a creature corpse to show you. There we go. You drop the flesh on the ground and he gives it a few slashes with the knife. It wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains. By my count, let's finish this. Oh, you have more. You drop the large bloodied carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. Oh, with a sickening terror, he wrests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace glistening gore. Well, fishermen, it's unfortunate last. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Oh, I know the I know the collector that wants this. Here, why don't you take it? I will take it. Thank you. He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now? Well, that's that, I suppose. Hmm. What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought about it. I'd be asking you for an escort from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. Oh, bud, you don't want to live here. Come on, I'll take you out of here. We'll go to... We can go like anywhere, man. You don't want to live out here on your own. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I should stay here a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up a special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Oh, sick. You make up some bait for me. Here, this is what left over from the bait we made. Mixed bait. A small portion of bait can be used to attract all manner of nearby species. Sick. That's an ability. Oh, toss bait overboard to attract local species. Right. Okay, now we can make some fresh stuff if you like. Uh, if you need some fresh... I, oh, sorry. I'll need some fresh. I'll need some fresh. I'll need some fish from you first. Any type will do. But the more you give me, the more bait I can make. Okay, fantastic. Uh, here. Take me some bait. Convert. Let me just grind these up. Great. Oh, it's okay. So it's like a, a fish per. A one to one ratio. Fantastic. They go crazy for the stuff all day and night. It doesn't seem to matter. All sorts of fish usually show up. So you just ground up fish. That's the recipe. Great. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out for dog tags for you, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. I'm going to sleep here real quick, I guess. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to press it, but we're going to go with it. Fantastic. What we are going to do now, uh, we have to... Oh, I forgot about my boots. <laughs> I'm excited about those. We have to go give this necklace to the collector. The shimmering necklace. Okay. So, yeah, if you're, uh, if you're wondering how to get the shimmering necklace, that's how you do it. <laughs> How about that? Now I have a title for the episode. A real something real clickbaity. Uh, because I don't I don't really name my episodes very clickbaity, but my, but they do a lot better when I do. Uh, and why wouldn't they? I mean who who wants to click on something that's not clickbaity? My first matey is clickbaity. Let's manifest. Hello? Man, I love that. That's <laughs> such a good good ability. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm going to take a sip of tea here real quick. Because you know we got some reading to do. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table. Candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding re recomp recompense as well? Of course I will. Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. 
You get, begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Ooh. As he finishes uh, speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. I didn't get to read that. Uh, we're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is likely a candidate. Uh, see what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Oh, this is the last one we need. Oh, are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as human as you are. Anything like that? No, he's not. <laughs> He's not human at all. It's creepy. <laughs> How do you know where these relics are? I largely don't, but I read the seas. I see the uh, swells that give shape to the formless. I hear the waves that whisper secrets to their witnesses. And I speak to the currents that hold the memory of all that they claim. Anything else? Or I think that's it. Weirdo. You freaking weirdo. Here, let's undock. We gotta go back. We have some trinkets to sell, actually. Uh, we've been we've been collecting quite a few, and we also have some boots, some boots to boot. Oh, hold on. I love a special fishing spot. I love a special fishing spot. We haven't fished one of these in so long. Oh wow. There it is. Oh, that was like a trophy. That was a trophy-sized uh, lumpy mackerel, one of the aberrant fish. How about that? That shit. I wonder how much that it's worth. I gotta know. Yeah. Oh, wait. Read the corpses of any fish in your sight. Long range. What the heck is this? What? I don't understand what that skill does. Oh, I got it. Read the corpse. It's infected. Oh, shoot. Hold on, we gotta get this out of our out of our hold. I'm sure that's gonna be oh shoot, I almost ran right into that. <laughs> I'm sure that skill will be useful. Uh, I'm not sure for what though. Okay, 11 bucks. 45! It was not as good as I thought it was gonna be, honestly, but that's okay. We'll go with it. Uh let's go and leave. We have 100, 100 bucks now. Oh, 522 actually, not bad. Here, uh, we need to. Oh, I just <laughs> shoot! I just used my chum! <laughs> it made a really nice squelching noise, too. That was pretty nice. Oh, I hate when I accidentally, accidentally chum. Not for me. Come on. We need our haste. Oh, I wonder what that does. Well, I mean, I, I guess I know what it does, but... Are you guys eating my chum? Yeah, they are. Chumming it up. Oh, there's a, oh, a whole bunch of different fish here. Nice. Okay, heck yeah. Okay, we're gonna sell real quick, just so I get them out of my inventory. All right, 57 big ones, perfect. Love to see it. And we're almost done. We only got, we got one more big thing to do. One more uh, big artifact. We should be, we should be all set. I'm really curious to see where this game is going to go in, in uh, this amount of time. Not much has happened, honestly. Or at least it feels. All right, let's trade. 60 bucks for the ring. Oh, I have to... Okay, these were, those were 50 each. And... Nice. Yeah. Oh, man. We did pretty good. Oh, I still have to finish that map, too, actually. Uh, actually, before we leave here, just because I'm going to take a quick nap, and we're going to head over to the volcanic area, uh, finally. That'll be exciting. It's the one area we have not explored at all yet. All right, so where's that? He marked it on my map, so it's northeast. Northeast we'll go. Yeah, before the game ends, we'll have to make sure we go and visit everyone that we, uh, that we knew. It was weird that like the, gosh, what area was that? Was that over here? Yeah. I feel like not much happened over there. I mean, we did get, I think we got a, a trinket, right? If I recall, it wasn't, it just wasn't too hard to get. Not like, uh, not like this last one. This one was definitely a lot harder. Oh, I don't have it. I want to get the sailfish. Love getting a sailfish. Oh, look at that. There's like a building. Oh, there's a whole bunch of ruins. 
more of those freaking rocks. Weird. It's making weird guttural sounds and the music stops, so I'm a little on edge right now. Here, should we uh, go check out this part of the island real quick? Hey, something cool's over here. I think we shall. I'd love to see what's over here. Okay, it looks like a little like gazebo. <laughs> he's in the he's in the gazebo. Uh, there's a hooded figure hanging out in the gazebo. Great. Oh, like a little camping spot. Heard a bird. Someone's boat. Do you want me to check this out or no? Oh, heard something. A little dinging noise. I guess someone's actually here. Fire's going. Usually the fire is never never going. Okay, you undock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. Oh, it's the oh, it's the old mare. What did you did you throw it back? What? The book. Oh no, that's the book. That's the book the collector has. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Oh. <gasps> I'm the collector. What do you do? <laughs> Are you okay? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. Okay, so that was the dude in the... Okay, yeah. I was like, that has to be the dude that, that was uh, collecting the artifacts. Because he was on the boat. He had to have been. Uh, they dredged up that old book, but something, something cloaked in the fog, followed it out right through the boat. Boom. The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said with coming out of uh coming for our breath that we hadn't been needing it soon, and then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely it can still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson, the blood uh, the book covered in her blood. Not making any sense. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please. The lighthouse keeper, she saw. She knows where it came from. Where it where it needs to go. The lighthouse keeper knows. What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruinous day. Ask her. Beg her. Tell her. I. He trails off. His face collapsing in sorrow. Oh, tell me more about the book. Uh, silver and crimson. Silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. What do you know about the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? Oh, I guess not. I'm. Oh man. I'm. I'm like some sort of like. <laughs> he he must have cloned himself somehow, and I'm like a copy of him. I'm trying to remember what I looked like at the very be beginning scene. Uh, I don't think I looked like him. I mean, I, who knows? <laughs> I don't think I did anyway. But uh, yeah. Man, cliffhanger. Oh my gosh, we found out so much. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and leave it there for today. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with another episode of this because I'm enjoying it and we're very close to the end. And I don't ever finish series uh, for the most part. Uh, so we're definitely going to try to. Oh uh, yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I want to give a really, really big thank you to my lovely, 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 lovely patrons over on Patreon. Super appreciate you guys. And other than that, that is going to be all for me for today. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode tomorrow. Bye-bye.